This right here is the 2024 Hilux GR Sport. The much hyped Ranger Raptor Challenger. As you can see, it looks much wider and beefier than any stock Hilux out there. It is, in fact, the widest next to the Ranger Raptor. It has a wider track, wider fenders, increased ride height, a retuned engine, which now puts out the most power in its class. That's 224 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque, 14 more horsepower and 50 more newton meters of torque compared to the Ranger Raptor. It comes with these underwhelming tires, unfortunately, which are smaller than the regular Conquest tires and way, way smaller than the fat, blocky tires of the Ranger Raptor. The tread pattern is also very conservative. I mean, I can't imagine this performing well on, on deep mud. Uh, definitely not as well as the Ranger Raptor. Now, I've done a full walk around of the Hilux GRS. If you haven't seen that, you can click on the link above. If you want to know more about the exterior and interior details of the Hilux GRS, feel free to click on that link. In this video, we'll get to do a very short test drive. I wouldn't call this a full review, it's more of an initial impressions, initial driving impressions video. So with that out of the way, let's get into the Hilux GRS. Stepping inside the Toyota Hilux GRS, you're greeted by a very familiar looking interior. A little too familiar perhaps. I wish Toyota added different colored accents, different materials, or an extra badge on the dashboard. They remind you that you're in the biggest, the baddest, and most expensive Hilux variant. Because as it is, the dashboard is just all black hard plastic. The same as the lower variants. One thing that I noticed is that it seems to be a bit more quiet than the regular Hilux. The noise insulation seems to have been improved. The engine noise doesn't penetrate as much into the cabin. At least under 1,500 RPM. It's still not as quiet as the Ranger Raptor though, and you can still very much tell that you're driving a diesel. Turn right. There's a muddy area behind this gate, and this would be the ideal time to put it in four-wheel drive mode. Now like the Ranger Raptor, you can put it from two-wheel drive to four high without stopping, but you'll have to stop to put it in four low. Driving modes are binary, you have power and you have eco which are a lot fewer than the nine different driving modes of the Ranger Raptor. The GR Sport also does not get the four automatic mode of the Ranger Raptor, which automatically shifts from four wheel drive to two wheel drive, depending on your driving conditions. So it feels a lot more old school in that sense, which may not be a bad thing for those who prefer things to be more simple. By the way, these stars are not giving a lot of traction on the surface. Um, yeah, it's something that you might have to upgrade if you want to do really hardcore off-roading. Now as for the power, so this is close to full throttle right here. As you can see, the, as you can see, the traction control light turned on, so there was a bit of wheel spin. Um, I would say on short, on short roads like this, the difference between the GR Sport and the regular Hilux is not that noticeable. Uh, the difference in power that is. That could be quicker than the Ranger Raptor, but without a timer, I can't really tell. Uh, the difference in ride quality, you definitely can tell. The Hilux GRS definitely has a stiffer suspension setup. And that's always been the case. Mm. Uh, definitely the ride of the Ranger Raptor feels a lot more plush. It feels a lot more pillowy than the Hilux GRS. Although I would say, I think the ride of the Hilux GRS feels better than the regular Hilux. Now turning radius, like most pickups, is pretty bad. As you can see over here, the it has about the same turning radius as the Ranger Raptor, maybe a bit smaller. Um, the steering is definitely heavier on the Hilux GRS. 
I like the fact that Toyota put Battle Shifters on the GR Sport. By the way, the GR Sport is the only variant that comes with Battle Shifters. As for the seats, they're relatively comfortable. I wish they came with adjustable lumbar support like the Ranger Raptor. That's something that's important to me because of my aging back. Now, Toyota deleted the rear stabilizer bar of the Hilux GR Sport. And that's supposed to increase the articulation of the vehicle. But the stabilizer is there for a purpose. It's supposed to reduce body roll. I wanted to test what the effect is, but unfortunately, on the small track, there's no way to test it. Perhaps in the future. By the way, Toyota updated the entire Hilux lineup. They updated the pricing and also the features. One thing that's new is that the Hilux GRS is no longer the only variant that comes with leather seats. Uh, both Conquest variants, the Conquest 4x2 and the 4x4, now come with leather seats. And the driver's seat is also powered. Yeah, all variants now get a significant price bump. The Conquest 4x4 now sells for 2,072,000 pesos. Now, that's just 92,000 pesos less than the GR Sport. And I think that makes the GR Sport a very attractive proposition if you're looking for a 4x4 Hilux. Even if you're not necessarily looking for an off-road machine, the Hilux GR Sport has a more powerful engine. It stands out more because of the aggressive look. And I think it's also a bit more comfortable than the regular Hilux variants. But overall, I think the Hilux GR Sport is a pretty solid effort from Toyota. I don't think it's as dedicated as the Ranger Raptor when it comes to off-road performance, but it's also significantly cheaper than the Ranger Raptor. And for that price difference, you could add a lot of modifications that could narrow that gap. Thank you for watching and thank you to our sponsor for today, the Atto Sport Mobility Scooter. Introducing the Atto Sport Mobility Scooter the world's most innovative mobility scooter. It folds into a small suitcase size and it has wheels so you can move it around like a controller. It separates into two parts. It has leather seats and grips an illuminated LCD dashboard, enhanced lighting for extra visibility, You can install optional armrests. It's perfect for seniors as it's easy to lift and unfolds in seconds. It has a maximum speed of 10 kph, shock absorbing flat free tires, high ground clearance, advanced braking system, be free to travel anywhere land, sea, or air. It has 20 kilometers of continuous driving range. Engineered with flair, designed with passion for performance. Be active, be free, be yourself. Atosport, moving life.